All right, welcome back. Special guest David Anthony in with us from the David Anthony Project. Thanks very much for being Thank here. Thank you for having us. Uh, tell us about the project. Uh, band, how many members of the band? There's five all together. Okay. We have uh, drums, bass, two acoustic guitars, and violin. How long have nice. you been together? Um, about two years total, yeah. Mm. So how did the project all come to be? Um, it started off with me just writing songs by myself, and then uh, what uh, was our bass player, David Benedict, who's uh, the bass player for default. So decided that we should start the band and next thing you know people who are guest appearing on the recordings we all decided to form form the band and that's how the project became. All right and then it came out to the David Anthony Project CD which came yeah. out in October. Yeah. Sure there. Give us uh, some details about the album. And uh, it's very emotionally charged if you like relax kind of kick back and relax music emotionally charged that's that's what you're gonna get. Very. Okay. How did you get interested in uh, playing guitar or writing music? Um, I think that was in high school. I was at a at a friend's aunt's place, and they had a guitar there, and I picked it up and I learned how to play "Come As You Are" Nirvana, just okay. by just myself. Just like that. Yeah, just by myself. Wow. Kind of figured it. it. Took me a little bit, but yeah. figured it out. And uh, his aunt gave me the guitar and took it home and started playing right away. So, talk about the process in putting a, a CD together. You mentioned you have a lot of guest people coming in and playing on the mm -hmm. album, and things like that. Uh, a long process, and sometimes tiring. Uh, tell us about it. That one took quite a while. Um, yeah, sometimes it can be. Like, if you have a lot of money behind you, you can go in there and, and bang a CD off. But uh, that one took a little while. Because um, we kept writing, and as we were forming the band, we started writing more songs. And then sure. you want to put those songs on. And usually your newer songs become your favorite songs. So then it becomes an elimination process and all that stuff, too. But it's always a ton of fun. The band is great. We always have a lot of fun. So <laughs> You guys are playing uh, at the Roxy tomorrow night, yes, uh, Thursday, April 30th. Um, so that is going to be a ton of fun. Eight o'clock if anyone's interested in going and checking them out and you're involved in a fundraiser on the weekend. Yes, um, Kids Helpline, uh, Langara YMCA, uh, Camby and 49th I believe. And right. you said it's in the morning, so... It's in the morning, yeah, it's a morning walk. I think uh, around 10. And you guys 11. are just going to be playing at one of the venues as everyone's doing the walk? I think so. Keeping we everyone have a sound check at 9 in the morning, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them entertained and motivated, that sounds yeah. great. So what are you going to play for us today? We're going to play uh, track 11 on the CD, it's called Only Me. Only me. Okay, well, it's good to meet you. Thanks right, for watching nice here. You. Thank you very right, much. Okay. Yeah, best of luck. Look forward to hearing about the performance of the Roxy again. That's tomorrow night on um, Christy. Talk about Sunday, the they're going to be working or they're going to be performing for a, a, ra a fundraiser for Kids Help Phone out in um, at Langara. In so it, is it outside? It's outside. Okay. Do you have a tent, you guys? <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, they are called the David Anthony Project. Yes, they're playing the Roxy tonight, and they are here in the Morning News Cafe this morning playing Only Me.
Thank you. Thank you.